Hey guys, this is Sam, and for the first time in a while, Apple paid attention to the iPad and added a ton of new exclusive features just for iPads in iOS 11. If you're excited for these, feel free to drop a like down below and of course subscribe for everything else you wanna see on iOS 11 in the future. There is so much to talk about. One of the first and coolest things that I was excited to see is a new keyboard flick option that allows you to input numbers and punctuation by swiping down on individual keys. For a pro device as Apple is marketing the iPad, I feel like something like this is so necessary. It is long overdue, but I am so incredibly happy to see it with iOS 11 because it makes input putting numbers alone so much easier. Another pro feature with the iPad on iOS 11 is this new app right here. It's the Files app, and if you've ever used a Mac, it's basically like the Finder equivalent now on iOS. From last year, you may remember iCloud Drive. That's basically been put into this app along with what's on your iPad, in addition to integration with cloud services, like I think Google Drive, but I know for sure Box.com as well as Dropbox. It works really well. I haven't had a ton of time to mess around with it just because I wouldn't consider myself an iPad Pro power user. I still do most of my work on my Mac, but if you are trying to push your iPad to the limits, this new Files app will help you do so. One big theme with this year's iOS 11 refresh is drag and drop, and you're gonna notice this practically everywhere. In previous versions, you had to switch apps constantly or use split view and do copy and paste, and it just took a long time. With iOS 11 and this iPad, I can now be typing a text message or writing a note and drag directly from the Photos app into the note without using a share sheet or invoking a Photos viewer, and it speeds everything up like crazy. I have noticed a marginal difference in how fast I'm able to work because obviously drag and dropping is not only fun, but crazy efficient. Now you've probably seen something going on near the bottom of my screen that's a little bit crazy and something that I thought I would never see on an iPad. It's a brand new docking system that once again works a lot like it does on the Mac. Moving on, Apple also completely revamped the app switcher from the ground up. So you access it like you normally would by double clicking on the home button here, but you have all your windows organized like so. And I think this is going to be a lot easier, once again, for pro users. That's what this update is geared towards. When you tap and hold, a little X will appear, and that's how you are going to actually close out of those apps or remove them from the app switcher. And then over to my right is where Control Center has been relocated to. Some people have had their gripes about how Control Center looks. It kind of looks like a jumbled mess, but all things considered, I don't think it looks that bad. And I like that you can use a lot of toggles at the same time now. And then of course, down below all of that, we have the dock for easy access to all of your favorite apps. Another cool feature in the iOS 11 beta is when you take a screenshot, it automatically takes the window down in the bottom left-hand corner of your screen. And from there, you can drag and drop it wherever you'd like just for even easier access to sharing something that you're probably gonna wanna use. If you take a screenshot, it makes sense that you'd wanna put it somewhere almost immediately. And there are also a lot of markup features. If you tap on that screenshot, you can draw on it. I think you can add text and do all sorts of cool stuff like cropping without even entering the Photos app from wherever you're at. And finally, there's a new document scanner in the Notes app and it works so well. I don't know how Apple put that much time into just this feature, but it picks up documents almost without error, crops them, resizes them, flips them so that everything looks perfect. It's not gonna be 100% accurate, but for your everyday documents and in pretty normal lighting conditions, you're not gonna need to use a third-party solution any longer. Those are the majority of the new iPad iOS 11 exclusive features. If you like them and you like this video, feel free to drop a like down below, and of course, subscribe for more on iOS 11 in the future. I've been Sam, I hope all of you are doing great. Enjoy iOS 11, and I'll talk to you later.